boys and girls, mums and dads, if you're joining in, welcome back to a Jack B Fit and Beyond school workout. We've got a very special company today, as you can see in the corner there. Alfie boy is watching this workout. So, same old, same old. We do our little warm up, we get our blood and oxygen around our body. And once we put that heart rate up a little bit, a little bit of stretching, a little bit of moving, and then we go into the main workout. Four exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. One minute's rest in between rounds, and we have three rounds. So, making sure you've got your water. I'll just bring mine more over here. Okay, and we are going to get started. So, we're gonna just jog up and down on the spot, pumping those arms up and down. You gonna join an Alfie boy or not? Nah, he's, he's gonna have a chill. He's, he's happy watching. He's had, his, he's had one walk today, so he's all good at the moment. Maybe later, boy. Good stuff. So we're just gonna pump our arms up and down. There we go. Hello, mister. If your dog's joining in your workouts, that's always amazing. He's looking up at me thinking, what are you doing, Jack? What are you doing? Hello. Okay, keep those arms pumping. Keep those arms moving. Okay, we're just gonna step it up a little bit now. So pump those arms up and down faster. Pump those legs up a little bit faster as well. Okay, beautiful. Okay, next part of the warm up. We're gonna do a little bit of hamstring stretching. So we're gonna have our legs out slightly wider than our hips. Bring our arms together. We're gonna to touch down, try and touch the floor, keeping our legs as straight as we can. If we can't keep our legs fully straight, that's all good. As long as you're feeling that stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Good, three more. Last one. Good, okay. Keep moving up and down. So next part of the warm up we're gonna do is gonna just do some knee drives, okay? So we're gonna start with our right. We're gonna drive that knee up and back down. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. Good. Two more on this right side. Good, and change sides. Good, really drive that knee up. This is a really good quite dynamic warm up. Thought about doing the workout, bit of lunging. Last two. Good, okay. Keep moving. So, we're gonna go into Demonstration of the exercises, doing, doing the exercises, me demonstrating, you do one or two reps to get comfortable, getting that body moving, and then we go into the main part of the workout. So exercise numero uno, as, <laughs> it's very distracting in me, but it's a very nice distraction. Our lunges, so we've got our chest up. So we're gonna start uh, with our left side, or you can start whichever side you're more comfortable with, or least comfortable with, up to you. Chest up, we lunge forward into that position, and we drive back up to the top through that front heel. Good, keeping that chest up at all times. If you wanna make it slightly harder, slightly more challenging, once we do both of those lunges, then we can go into our squats at the top. So it's left side, then right side, feet hip width apart, and then squat, good. Okay, next exercise, keep moving, keep that heart rate going. Next exercise, shoulder tap to a push up. So we're gonna get in that press up position, keep our back nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna touch our shoulders with our alternating hands. So we're gonna touch our left shoulder with our right arm, right shoulder with our left arm, and then we're gonna lower our knees onto the floor, push, do a push up, Bring your knees back up, and then touch your shoulders again. Knees off, touch, touch, 
off and up. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, you do your shoulder taps and then try and do a press up. But if you're not comfortable with that, that's absolutely fine. Just stick with the kneeling, the, uh, kneeling press ups. Good stuff. Okay, Number, third exercise. It's all good because we're staying in that press up position. We're going to go into that press up position and we're going to do a row to get up. So we're going to bring that right arm in towards our right chest, left arm in towards our left chest, and then we're going to hop our legs in, come up to the top. So in that press up position, right side, left side, and up. If you are not comfortable with the body weight rows, bringing that right hand into that right chest, left into our left. All we could do is we go to that press up position, hop our legs in and come up to the top. And then last exercise of the round, boys and girls, some body weight Russian twists. So we're gonna have our feet on the floor, planted on the floor, lower body, upper body, sorry, leaning backwards. We're gonna, we've got this imaginary ball, which is gonna twist from side to side with that ball, making sure that our hands do not touch the ground. Just off. Good stuff. So, okay. They are the exercises. Now we've got our body moving. We're gonna get going in 15 seconds. So grab yourself a drink of water before we go into our body weight lunges. Okay, five more seconds troopers and then we go. And let's go. So chest up, right side, then left. Lunging with our left, up, right. If you wanna make it more challenging when you come back up, coming into that squat, coming up and back down. Good stuff, that's over 15 seconds gone. Good, last nine seconds. Last five, keeping that chest up in the lunge and in the squat and rest, good. Good stuff. Okay, next exercise is our push-ups and our shoulder taps. So in that press-up position, touching our shoulders with alternating hands, going to our knees and then performing that kneeling push-up. If you're comfortable with the kneeling push-up, then we can go into a standard push-up. But do we have a comfortable with? Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. So touching your shoulders, onto your knees, down, up. Bringing your knees back off, back into that top position. Good troopers. If you're not comfortable with either or, just sticking in those shoulder taps. But if you want to add in, in those press ups, by all means, last 10 seconds. Just do what you're comfortable with. So that's on your knees or at the top. Good, and off. Very nice, okay. Don't know why I just got up then. That's instinct, that's just ha habit. Next exercise is our rows to get ups. So in that press up position, bringing our right hand in towards our right chest, lowering left arm into left chest and down. And then we hop our legs in towards our bodies and explode up to the top. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. So right arm, left arm, coming up and up. Back into that press up position. Right arm, left arm, and up. Good stuff. If you're not comfortable with the rows, you can just perform your get ups, coming into that half position. Last 10 seconds. Stay with it, team. Alfie supporting. We've got a little mascot and rest. Good. Okay. Last exercise of the round is our Russian twists. So we're sitting on our hips, legs firmly planted on the floor. We've got this imaginary ball, then we're going to shift over from left to right with the ball, not touching the floor with our hands. Upper body just off the floor, five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Good team, 
Last 30 seconds. Keep rotating with that imaginary ball. The lower down you go in that off body, the harder it becomes. Good, last 10 seconds. Last five, keep going team. All the way to the end. And rest. Good, Alfie, come here boy. See, it's always more helpful when you've got a dog around as your little mascot for the workout, especially during your rest. So there we go team, we know our first exercises. So now you know what you're comfortable with. Now we know how to push ourselves. Okay, so grab yourself a drink of water. 30 more seconds and then we get going. If you've got any dogs or cats, do your dogs and cats help you through your workouts? I mean, it's a very rare occurrence he's here because he's usually he's a mummy's boy, so he's usually with mum, but she's out and work today. So anyway, five more seconds. Then we go into our bodyweight lunges. Three, two, one, and let's go. So we lunge forward and back up. Lunge forward and up. Good. To make it easier in the lunge, really drive through that front heel. If you want to come back into that squat position and up. Good. That's 15 seconds gone. 15 to go. Making sure in the squat that your feet are hip width apart if you're choosing to use the squat. One more rep each. And off. Good. Next exercise, our shoulder taps to our kneeling push-ups. So we're touching our left shoulder with our right hand, right shoulder with our left. Dropping our knees onto the floor performing that push up and then back up into that top position bringing our knees off the floor if you're not comfortable with your pushing up just sticking to the shoulder taps keeping that back straight I'm ready team and let's go so shoulder tap shoulder tap onto your knees down and up off the floor shoulder tap shoulder tap good okay you're gonna find your zone now you can find whatever you're comfortable with you just want to if you can do normal body weight push-ups by all means go for it whatever you're comfortable with but whatever you're comfortable with let's go troopers good last five seconds stick with it all the way to the end good and off very nice okay good stuff some good off body work today did it again I've gone off again I didn't mean to I'm sure some of you done the same as well but you're allowed to do that, I'm not. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Pass, let's go on to our next one. Rows to get up. So body weight row, bring that arm in towards our right chest, left to left, and then we explode up to the top. Ready troopers? And let's go, keeping that back straight. And coming up, back down into that press up position. Row, row, and up. Good, row, row, and up. If you're not comfortable with the rows, you can just stick to the get-ups. Last 10 seconds. Try and keep your back as straight as you can in that rowing position. Last rep. Oh, and off. Not even time for one more rep. Time flies. Okay. Last exercise of the round. Our Russian twists. So. I want you to count how many reps you do this round. So the next round, we try and beat it. So hips on the floor, feet on the floor. Got that imaginary ball, twisting from side to side, not touching the floor with our hands. Ready team, three, two, one, and let's go. It's the last exercise of the round. So however many reps, think, count in your head, if you can, if you're comfortable with that. Whatever it is, we don't stop, we keep going. Last little push, team. Last 15 seconds. <sighs> Nearly there. Earning that rest. Putting everything out there. <sighs> Last five seconds. Stick with me. And off. Good stuff. 
Okay. So, round two done. Okay, team. Last round. Whew. So, last round. If you were counting your kind of reps before, then try and beat what you did previously. If not, that's all good. Doesn't matter. Just for those who like a bit of competition with themselves, I know that's something I feel like I always benefit from. But everyone's different. Whatever you're comfortable with. So we're gonna get going in 20 seconds. Okay, so into our bodyweight lunges. Chest up, lunging with our left, up to our right, up. And if you wanna challenge yourself a bit, come into that squat with your chest up and squatting down. Good, five more seconds. Into our last round, troopers. And let's go. So lunge forward to your right or left, and then change leg. Good, really drive through that front heel of that lunging leg. If you want, coming back into that squat, driving through that front heel. Good, that just helps you in the lunge. Last 10 seconds, team. Keep pushing. You're in your rhythm now. Feel the legs do the work. And off. Good stuff, right. Exercise numero do. Do, do, dos. Multilingual. Anyway, we are going into our shoulder taps, into our push-ups. So we're in our shoulder taps, pressing, we're touching our left shoulder with our right hand, right shoulder with our left, dropping our knees to the floor, performing that push-up, and then coming back into that shoulder tap position. Ready team, three, two, one, and let's go. Drop your knees to the floor, pushing up, and into that top position again. If you're comfortable with your normal push-up, then put that normal push-up in, but if not, drop you onto your knees. Whatever you find is most comfortable, whether you find that rhythm, find that flow, to really push yourself in that last round. Last 10 seconds. Last little push, team. Let's go. And off. Good, okay. Exercise number three. Our rows to get ups. So, rowing that right arm in towards our right chest. And left into left, popping our legs in, coming up to the top and back down. Trying to keep our back straight in that press up position. Okay, seven seconds. And last five seconds, and then we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. So, row, row, pop legs in and up. Back into that position, row. Row, pop legs in, and up. If you were counting, beating your reps from your last round, if not, just putting that effort in. Good, seven seconds to go. Not much longer. Try and squeeze one more in. Good, and off. Okay team, last exercise of the workout. Our body weight, Russian twists. So we're going to really go for it, give it our all, earn that workout feeling at the end, knowing we left it all out there. Feet on the floor, twisting that imaginary ball. Make sure we're not touching the floor with our hands. Three, two, one, and let's go, team. Twist through from side to side. The lower down you go with your upper body the harder it becomes. Whatever you're doing, just twisting. Twist, twist. Good, 50 seconds to go, last little push. Stay with me team, really go to the end. Last five, all the way, I know you can do it. And off, good stuff. Okay, workout done. Well done, guys. Boys and girls, good stuff. Okay. Grab yourself a drink of water. Always important, as we know. Whew. Good. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go into our cool down now. Cool down's obviously very important. Getting our bodies back into the state they were before we 
got our heart rate going. So we're going to go into our hamstring stretches, similar to the ones we did at the start, but instead of making it more of a kind of dynamic movement, we're going to make it more still. So feet slightly one hip width apart, but just touch your hands together, keeping our feet straight, legs as straight as we can, and bending over. If you can touch the floor, then great. If you can't, as long as you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, you're all good. And holding there for another good 10 seconds. You might find yourself a little bit more flexible than when you first started these workouts. I don't know, you might find some of these stretches easier. Good, and up. Next one we're gonna do, is we're just gonna bring our right hand across our body, keeping it nice and straight, grabbing it with our left arm and pulling it in towards our left chest. So I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Mums and dads, if you were joining in as well. Some nice bit of upper body focus today. It's always good to vary it up. Have some moves, explosive movement workouts, have some lower body stuff, have some upper body. Vary it up, working all parts of our bodies. Good. And change sides. So left arm out, straight in front of you, grabbing it with your right arm and pulling it in towards that right chest. Yeah, that's the portal exercise, always changing it up. But I hope you, uh, hope you feel yourself getting fitter, getting a little bit stronger as well. And the most important thing, you're enjoying it. And holding for five more seconds. Good. Little wiggle, shaking it off. Okay team, that's us done for another workout. Thank you for tuning in. It's good to always do this with you. Boys and girls, I've really enjoyed doing these. Hope you do too. Nice bit of company from the dog. Hopefully you'll try and get back on next time, but because he's a mummy's boy, it's not always guaranteed. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that from Jack from Be Fit and Beyond. Until next time, goodbye.